Okay, let's see here. How long has it been? Whoa! Six months. Sorry about neglecting you guys within the Stormtrooper Corps. But, to make up for that, I've got a little something special for those of you that like to see the front lines. That's right. Wrapped in shadow from head to toe and marked in red as if the very gates of fire and chaos itself has opened, the Purge Troopers hunt Jedi with a fury that burns like a thousand stars, unyielding and ferocious in their pursuit. To them, confronting Jedi is dancing with death itself. And they will To skip the dramatics, we're talking about the Imperial Purge Troopers. The Imperial Purge Stormtroopers were the Empire's top and most elite Jedi hunting troopers. With the exception of a small few, these guys put most other trooper types to shame with their sheer passion to... Purge Force users from the galaxy. He's mine! Die! Scared! I'll annihilate you! Worthless resistance! Good. I'll cut the defiance out of you! Firebomb the whole forest if you have to. These guys are certainly a bit... Your life is forfeit. Different, but like all in the Empire, where did they get their start? Well, the Purge Troopers as a recognised infantry unit didn't get their start until the Empire had largely matured. Instead, their Phase 1 armour goes way back to the airborne clone paratroopers of the Galactic Republic. These guys were a rapid response unit able to get into the battlefield front lines and keep pressure on the enemy forces. Elite troopers such as these received specialised training that made them exceptionally responsive to the ever-fluctuating and rapidly changing dynamics of the Clone Wars. The airborne units were professionals when it came to ranged and melee based combat, being able to take out droids with little to no trouble at all. As such, their armour had to reflect this, being a modified variant of the Phase 2 clone trooper armour featuring all the systems a trooper could need to survive. What set them apart, of course, was that striking helmet. Being far bulkier than the traditional clone trooper helmet and jam-packed with about as many systems as one can think of, helping them to score some shots against the clankers. These guys were far more involved than their current iterations, as you could find them all throughout the battlefield, but come the end of the Clone Wars and the start of the Empire, these guys found themselves not following the path every other clone trooper followed. Gone were the days of seeing frontline infantry combat. Instead, these guys took on a new, very specialised role, hunting their former leaders, the Jedi. Their armour was now coated in all black with accompanying red spot to indicate that these guys were now elite special forces. The first Purge troopers were clones, like a lot of the other early members of the Imperial Stormtrooper Corps but these clones had experience with Jedi. The Purge Troopers fell under the jurisdiction of the Imperial Inquisitorius, often accompanying them on Jedi hunting missions, but that doesn't mean they relied solely on the powers of them, however. Purge Troopers were perfectly capable and often found themselves out and about on patrols in small squads or leading Stormtrooper squads in the hunt for any reported Jedi. While clones certainly had the experience of hunting Jedi due to their days spent with them during the Clone Wars, they would not last forever, and slowly, one by one, each clone was replaced by conscripts, but it didn't make the Purge Troopers any less lethal, or less moody for that matter, no. Being under the thumb of the Inquisitors means these guys got the special treatment in terms of equipment and training. These guys made use of some pretty powerful tools to combat Jedi. For getting up close and personal with them, Electro-based weaponry was more than ideal. The Electro staff was good against lightsabers, not totally invulnerable but absolutely able to combat them if utilised correctly. On either ends of the staff were Electro emitters, guaranteed to deliver a lethal amount of electrical energy to those the Purge Trooper don't want within their peripheral anymore. The Electro Baton is like the Electro Staff, but only smaller and more compact, making it an easily accessible handheld device that some Purge Troopers even dual wield to maximise their speed and responsiveness. And finally, the Electro Hammer, the most powerful of the bunch, this weapon can kill in an instant, and while it is heavy, slow and better used in very specific situations, this one packs a punch and is guaranteed to send most who see it the other way. What about blasters? Well, the DC-15A was a popular pick among most Purge Troopers, 
simply due to it being a well-rounded mid to long range blaster, capable of dispensing a quick round of fire and allowing them to hit distant and moving targets. Along with that you could expect to see them using an E11 blaster rifle and the E11D blaster carbine, so quite a useful variety of weapons that are great for different situations. Like any other highly specialised trooper variant, potential purge troopers were handpicked by those from the Stormtrooper Corps, and training of course taught them how to fight hand to hand and how to hunt Jedi, showing them what to look for in terms of the different lightsaber forms and how best to adapt to each one. I imagine their training also teaches them not to cut themselves on their own edge. Give me everything you have! You're going to bleed! I don't know why they make us wear these things. I want the Jedi to see my face when I kill him. And as much as the Empire dislikes it, cooperation is a big part of being a purge trooper. Yes, that's right. Purge troopers are most effective when they work in squads, being able to poke and prod at a Jedi until they can wear them down. That way, the trooper can then move in for the kill. But apart from that, a lot of their training is classified, so who knows if they get any biomechanical upgrades like the Death Troopers or any specialised blaster training on top of what they already know from their time as Stormtroopers. To finish off, some notable missions that the Purge Troopers were involved in would be the hunt for Jedi Ferenbar on Mon Cala, alongside the Inquisitors and Lord Vader. This Jedi proved to be a decisive one, instilling thoughts in the head of the then King of Mon Cala, the incident ended absurdly, with Farron using some force foolery, shall we say, to cause the Purge Trooper clones to turn on their Inquisitor masters, gunning down the 10th brother in the process, and leaving the 6th and the 9th to scramble. Needless to say, that squad didn't last. The Purge Troopers were heavily involved in the hunt for Jedi Cal Kestis, stretching their forces thin all the way from Bracca to Kobo. This Jedi is one that would prove to be among the most challenging that the Empire has ever dealt with taking down purge troopers left, right and centre like cannon fodder, even taking out some of the Inquisitorious along the way. Just goes to show that the purge troopers while adept are still flesh and blood and can be taken down. Huh, you know maybe the Empire will go down that way. And finally, the purge troopers were involved in dealing with the infiltration of Obi-Wan Kenobi within Fortress Inquisitorious. By this point they had adopted a new helmet design, one that was much more angular and looked a lot more like the typical trooper design that we are used to. This was their phase 2 armour and well it certainly didn't do much to help them in this scenario, as the aging Jedi wrought havoc upon the base before escaping with a prisoner. And that is all there is to know about the Imperial Purge Troopers, a bit of a shorter video but how much do we really know about the Jedi Purge? I mean despite what the Emperor says, does it really make sense that the galactic peacekeepers would suddenly just turn on him like that? I mean, don't you think all these Inquisitorious and Purge Troopers are a little bit excessive for something that should seemingly not be a threat? Hmm, strange. But with that, please consider leaving a like, commenting and subscribing if you want to start your journey into the Empire today and with that, long live the Empire and may the Force be with you.